Daniela Valdez was recently honored by the Chicago Youth Symphony Orchestra with the Women in Music Award. She's thought of as a pioneer, with an estimated 13% of music conductors being women, but fewer being Latinas. She's opening doors in ways she never expected. Articulate every note, that down bow and the up bow. Inside a Main West High School classroom, Daniela Valdez has struck a chord with students. One, two, one, and... She's one of few Latina conductors in the U.S. and certainly one of few within the Illinois school system. Her story is both connecting with her students and motivating them. I was born and raised in El Paso, Texas, um, border town, and I'm first generation. Her love of music started early on. She was a kid when she caught the tunes of a school orchestra and never looked back. I remember hearing them in the hallway when I was in fourth grade, I think, going like, hmm, I want to do that. And I came home and I just told my mom and dad, I was like, I want to play the violin. And they were like, the what? Vi but the why the violin, violin of all things? <laughs> exactly. We, I mean, I just did it. That's what I wanted to do. That led her to music school, later a master's program, and eventually to conduct the Chicago Youth Symphony Orchestra. I grew up watching telenovelas, you know, I grew up listening to Juan Gabriel. I mean, that man oozed passion in his music. So, so yeah, a lot of how I feel is stemmed from what I grew up with. It wasn't until college that she realized the lack of Latino representation in classical music. It's estimated that less than 10% of conductors are Latinos and even fewer Latinas. It's why Valdez isn't playing it by ear, but focused on making sure her students feel they belong. When I share those stories and I share maybe even like tough stories, like when things were not as good, I think that is what really makes an impact on the students and they're listening more than sometimes we think they are and, and watching um, more than we think they are. And, um, but just being that role model. Many of them have an immigrant journey of their own and look to her for guidance. People like Ms. Valdez who are courageous enough, who are brave enough to stand up and to enter these fields are deserve the most amount of respect possible. She kind of gives us the performance experience that you'll get when you're older in high school. While classical music has traditionally been linked to Europe, it doesn't have to remain that way. That's changing because there's a lot of Latino composers and that's, that's really changing and that's really exciting. Valdez is even more excited to learn that her love of music is helping shape a new generation who, like her, are marching to a new tune of classical musicians. There's still so much stuff that I want to do and um, reach out to the community and, and be, that, be that for the community and for other you know, little girls or boys that look like me. And Valdez continues her work with different organizations on diversity, equity, and inclusion. Next year, she'll be conducting a group of CPS students and Chicago Civic Opera musicians to perform at Orchestra Hall. Celebrating Hispanic Heritage Month, I'm Lourdes Duarte, WGN News.